Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are going to talk about highlighting cells in Excel by the use of VBA. If you have come to the conclusion that VBA is the way you want to do it, then you probably are already familiar with the conditional formatting tab in the home area, which is uh, basically a very simplified version of um, highlighting cells. So for example, you could highlight um, the column D, go to conditional formatting, and let's say you want to highlight all the cells that contain the word fruit. Then you go to um, text that contains, type in fruit, and there we go. All the cells that contain the word fruit are now highlighted. But there's a different way of um, doing that, which gives us a little bit more flexibility of what we want to highlight and how we want to highlight. And especially that way um, lets us implement this highlighting of cells into a larger script. In order to do that, we would need the Developer tab. If you don't have it already, you can, for example, on Mac, go to the top row, go to Excel, Preferences, Ribbon and Toolbar, and then you just tick the Developer box. If you've done that, and by the way, the way um, on Windows is uh, very similar to that, so it should be easy to find. If you've done that, just go to the Developer tab, go to Visual Basics, and this window should pop up. Usually um, a new module should be inserted already. If that is not the case, just go to um, Insert and click Module. For the module we um, want to type Sub, which is um, basically a little script, and then name the, name the, um, name the sub. Let's uh, name it Highlighting Cells. The end sub is um, already defining the end of our function, and all we want to write has to be between sub and end sub. So, in order to highlight these cells, let's define a range. So, dim r, that we don't have to type um, the word range all the time, as range, and then set r equal to range, and now we have to be sure. Um, what our range is. In this example, um, we want to select cells based on the categor uh, category uh, in which they are appearing. So um, this would be for us D3 to D13, but um, obviously this is very customizable. If you want to highlight um, more cells, you could just select D uh, and D, which would select the whole column D. In this case, um, this is uh, this is basically enough and this will make the uh, program run a little faster. Now we say for each cell in R, in our range, if cell dot value equals, and now we have to define what we are looking for, in this case, uh, let's stay with the example and look for fruit. Then cell dot interior dot color index equals six. Six is um, in the color index in VBA um, the basic yellow, which you are probably most familiar with. Um, by the way, there. Are a lot of other ways of defining the colors. You could also use um, the RGB colors or hex colors. It uh, very depends on your preference. I do this for simplicity reasons. So if the cell equal fruit, then the cell is getting the color, uh, the color six. And after that, we can end the statement go to next. Next is just because this is a for loop and every for loop either ends with next or go to and end sub. So this is basically the very most basic iteration of our program and let's see if it's running. Yep, highlighting cells. Well, now I don't know what the problem is. It should be, oh, and if, now it should be running, yeah, there we go. 
all the cells that contain the word fruit are highlighted. But let's say this is um, a little too basic for us. Let's say we want to customize it. I, in the beginning I talked about how we can um, how we can use uh, the VBA function or the VBA language to have our highlighting cells script to be more flexible than the just the basic conditional formatting tab. So let's say we won't, we don't want to hard code looking for fruit, but instead we are looking uh, at different times for different things. We can do that by, for example, using an input function. Let's call box input box equals and let's say select category and instead of saying fruit we say um, box which is referring to our input box and if we run the program then we have an input box select category and that's let's say in this case we are looking for beverages I must have misspelled that, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and now we have beverage to select. But, I'll just uh, reset it for now. We will get um, to a different way of resetting it later. But um, let's say we are not looking for the category, because in this case uh, we could have also just used the, the conditional formatting tab, but um, instead we want to highlight the item numbers corresponding to the category. This can be done by using um, a simple offset integration, so offset, and we define um, first of all the row. We don't want to alter the row, but we want to alter the column and to the leftwards twice, so minus two and now if we look for something, let's say uh, we look for a meat, the item number instead of the category is selected. Furthermore, we can also alter the color real quick, just select 7. Let's look for meat again, and as you can see, the color is changed. So um, the flexibility is very easily adaptable, but um, one problem remains the same. So if we run the program again, and now we look for fruit again, we can see that meat is still selected. And from time to time that can get a little crowded. So let's remove all the cells that are not uh, looked for in the current iteration of the program. So instead of ending the if statement right after um, we have selected the cells, we say else and we sell, basically, we use the same function as before. Uh, let me copy that. But instead of selecting um, the color index 6, we say XL none, which basically means no color for all the other cells that are not looked for. So if we run that again, and now we look for sweets. We see that all the other colors are removed. So, in this simple example, this is almost perfect. But let's say you want to you want to send this program to a colleague, and that colleague is not so familiar with VBA or doesn't want to use it. Um, so you want to help them out a little. In this case, we can um, input a button and assign a function to the button. In this, ca in this case it should be highlighting cells, which should be that. You can rename the button to uh, highlighting, well, highlighting cells. And instead of having to go into the developer tab and pressing Visual Basics, you just have to press highlight cells, select uh, beverage, and there you go. So, I hope this is helpful. If it was, then uh, consider leaving a like or subscribing. And otherwise, have a nice day. Bye-bye.